Well, another project. <laughs> As you just seen, that's kind of what the problem is. This is the problem. A lot of the chickens are out of the fence. Now, here's a big problematic area. They dug that out. And this is a big problem. If that eventually, you know, they keep digging that away and causing that to, you know, disappear, that's, that's going to cause some problems. So I need to address that. And I really don't want them going underneath there anymore. They're digging underneath there. There's just, there's a lot of things that are going on that they just, they keep doing. So I need to, I don't know, probably fill that in with rocks. They, they scratched all that out like crazy. This was sloped a lot harder than that. But regardless, there's a lot of chickens outside the fence. So obviously they're coming out there. They're flying up on this, then flying up on this, and then flying out. And then there's also a bunch down there that are just flying right over the fence. So, yeah, exactly. So what I'm gonna do today, and this has been a long time coming anyhow, this is something I, I've been wanting to do, trying to figure out how to do it, and something that just needs done because I'm just tired of dealing with it. And now they're, they're starting to go actually down to the garden, they're starting to go actually in our front yard and now they're going out to the neighbors so the chickens are just wandering a lot further than they should be and every single day that i come home from work there is hawks sitting up in these trees and up here and i just i can't have that so instead of having just the fence all around basically everything is going to come out and they are going to be completely enclosed and that's going to do multiple things for us one it's going to help predators stay out it's going to help them stay in and not wandering all over the place our compost pile down there that we did they completely have dug that everywhere and i'm not going to have to come out here every single night to close this door right here due to you know raccoons coming at night and predators at night so i'm not gonna have to do that anymore i won't have to worry about that at all so the only downfall and downside to this is obviously there is a huge slope here running down through it may not look like it on camera but there's definitely a hard slope going down through there so that is kind of the biggest problem that we're going to face but again, I think it's something that, you know, we can deal with and we'll have to just, you know, it's going to be what it is. So ultimately, I want to try and keep as much of the fence here as I can. I'm going to have to take some of it down and they're going to have to be locked up tonight because I don't know that we're going to get it done tonight. And that's mainly because the time change, you know how it is. Time change, you get about an hour's worth of daylight afterwards and... In the afternoons, here's just, you know, it's dark by four or five o'clock. So very similar to this setup, which is basically an old dog kennel with one side or one end removed and then netting on the top. So they can't fly in, nothing can get in. I mean, stuff could get in if it really wanted to, but this works. These chickens do not get out. Now, when they were chicks, yeah, that was a little bit different. They could fit through the squares, but right now they don't come out ever. So I have a bunch of 16 foot two by sixes. And really, I don't know, that that would probably be enough, but I would rather make it as big as we can. And you see the pile here that they completely scratched out now. So the only, the, the biggest problem that is gonna arise and I know these aren't treated, they should be, but it is what it is. So the biggest problem that's gonna happen is we have multiple trees here that are gonna be in the way. And I think I have a solution to get around them, but again, it's just, it's gonna make more work. That's, that's for sure. Overall, this is just at a terrible location, terrible spot. And at the end of the day, 
this is what you end up with. All the stuff they scratch and it just runs down and ends up here. So it's gonna be really weird. I was gonna try and go down to the center. I don't think that's gonna work out so hot. There's just too many trees to have to deal with. So I think it's just gonna be easier to kind of come down in here. This is all fully open all the way down. And wherever we end it, I'm gonna make like a little trail coming in through here so I can do a loop with the four wheeler. And if I do need to get in, in this section, that's fine. I'll put in that door that's up there. But I have the fence removed and I know it's gonna be screwy coming at an angle like this to try and do it. But ultimately, this is completely open right here. There's no trees to deal with. So it's probably just gonna be better. I did not make it very far yet. I got two pieces together. I was originally gonna aim for like 40 feet, but I think two 16 footers is enough. That'll get us 32 feet worth of run. That should be, that should be plenty. And I do have to figure out how far over I need to go. Cause that I'm not sure of. I have the start of our other piece up there. I know I'm gonna have to extend it up there, but I fastened it to that post that I've dug in. I'm gonna let that there, let that attach to the tree just because and for support. And then I know I'm gonna have to fill in a lot of areas, but this is kind of where it's at so far. And I think once I get moving here, it won't take too terribly long, but it's just kind of getting in the groove of it. That's gonna take a little bit of time. Day two, it's a lot more sunny so we might have a little bit more time of daylight i think i'm going to start down here we made this 12 foot wide that's the best opening that we have basically until i start running into brush so i started to make one hoop but the chickens knocked it down and the other side i have to re-glue i don't think it took the best in the first place so i'm going to take that off anyway we'll start down here and we'll start the first hoop and I probably didn't say but I'm sure you've seen by the thumbnail that we're building a hoop house run more or less which is going to be kind of cost effective and you know the easiest less invasive way of doing things I believe Well, that kind of gives you the idea of what it's going to look like. I put a whole section in here, basically of the, uh, just a whole 20 foot piece of PVC. And this is three quarter. I really ultimately wanted to use T's and have straight pieces in there, you know, to add some rigidity to the top of it and run out through the center. But what's happening with this piece, and I'm probably not letting the glue set up long enough, is probably part of it. But every time I go to put it in on one pin and then try and get this bend, because now it's a straight fitting in the center, which is making it not want to bend, it's basically popping the, the one piece of pipe right out of the fitting. Now, like I said, it's not fully set up. The glue's not set up, so it is still you know, able to be moved. And that's probably part of it because I did have it in the pin up there yesterday. So I think I'm gonna try it again. And if it continues to give me problems, then at that point, I think what I'm just gonna do is probably run straight pieces, not cut any of them. And then we'll run a straight piece up through the center and fasten it somehow so it can, you know, add something that way. 
and ultimately that's probably what i should do anyhow but i don't know we'll we'll see what happens if it doesn't work there's always option number two it's going slow it's definitely going slow but i think once we get everything kind of where it needs to be and i have my dimension here on the bottom so i just got to match that up at the top and then i got to add more wood at the top because obviously we're coming at an angle so that needs to kind of go to the side i did manage to get this in here now and looking at it it is crooked a little bit it's it's pulling there's no doubt about that and again it probably wasn't set up to where it should have been but that's just a lot of torque on there i'm honestly thinking instead of doing the t's and i have a bunch of cross pieces cross fittings which have another end out this side i think instead of doing that to tie everything together we're just going to leave the pipe in the 20 foot lengths and run up through and we'll just run a center pipe out through to tie in the top and it's not going to have a roof i mean snow could settle on it because i don't think the holes in our netting are very big so that's something we'll have to watch out for but there again if we have something in the center you know i think it's going to help i mean that can hold more weight than it looks so and these are going to actually get fastened to the bottom plate here too and i'm doing four foot I think that's more than enough. So I don't know. Day number three starting. So I have the majority of the PVC tunnel, whatever you wanna call it, in place. I have to do, I think, at least one, two, at least two more, maybe three, and then I gotta patch in something up here. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna go about doing that. But basically the ducks, the geese, turkeys, chickens, every, everybody's in the house. And they're gonna stay in there until I get this done. And they want a lot of rain tomorrow, so I wanna have this done for tomorrow because it's already kind of a, a mess. So I, I don't wanna be sliding around any more than I already am. So this is roughly from this point here and that point, it's 32 feet. So from this corner, it's probably like about 33 feet from there. And then this side is actually going to be more like probably 40 feet till it's all said and done. But again, this was our most open area instead of going down through here and having to deal with a whole bunch of trees. And this was already open. So that's why I did it that way. And again, I'll have to patch something in here and then up to there. I contemplated about putting the door up there, but I think we're just going to put it down there. So I do have to frame that in as well. The overall framing is done. Well, I shouldn't say framing, but the overall hoop 
house portion of it is done. This is kind of what I came up with as far as tying it into the building. I didn't really have a good solution because we're at such a weird angle. And then I fastened clamp there on that one and ran over. I actually used the, the one that we had already put together. That way I didn't have to get more pipe or do something dumb. So this should work out pretty well. And then we'll fasten the mesh wire, whatever you want to call it, to the chicken house and then run all the way back down across. Right now, and I did end up actually strapping the all the pipes fast, but right now I want to get framing for the door. It's starting to look like something. This is day number three. Now this is the only day where we've really had ample time to work on it other than the first two days where it was, you know, an hour, two hours max in the evening. It's, it's definitely coming together. There's a little bit of a, kind of tails out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. This isn't, you know, this isn't a house. It just has to keep the chickens in and you know serve the purpose of that so i definitely would have rather had a gate latch here but you know it works it'll hold unless something knocks it out so i don't know i may change that later down the road or we may leave it it just depends right now there's pressure on it so it's not like you know it can just get hit out of there lightly at this point, I believe I am done framing things as far as all that stuff goes. This should be pretty much about where it needs to be. So now I think I'm going to get the netting and we'll probably start from up there, work our way down. That's going to kind of be the tedious process. And then we have to fill in all the way around, which is going to suck too. At this point, I'm really starting to wish I would have gotten the heavier duty rolls of mesh. You can't even see that there's anything really here. I mean, it's it's thin. I don't know. I don't know how well this is going to hold up. But it was 7 feet by 100 foot roll, whereas the other stuff's only a 50 foot roll and only like 3 or 4 feet. I didn't realize that they had the roll in half, so they only have a 3.5 foot roll. And then when you unroll it, it's two strands and then they flip up. It really makes things difficult. But I don't know. I just, I'm not sure how well it's going to work. Like I said, it's, it's very small. This is just very tedious. Very tedious. I have everything pretty much patched in together. Everything's closed in up here overhead. I have to finish zip tying a lot of these up. And it just so happened that I thought I was going to have to run two rows on the top, but seven foot actually reach from one side to the other so i just have to zip tie on the hoops run out through cut it off and then we're done and then i have to fill in a little bit on the bottom so very very close i am definitely in the home stretch but wow is it tedious i'm starting to fill in with just a bucket of dirt that's the easiest i think oh i'm getting a headache i know what's gonna happen they're gonna just kind of scratch this dirt that's loose here and they'll just keep scratching it in that's the biggest gap that we have right there so i'll probably try and fill in with some rocks here and there too overall it's not too bad we got a big gap over here otherwise it's pretty not too bad i don't really foresee the chickens going under a lot of this but it's more so like raccoons and predators coming in at this point it is 420 we have about a half hour worth of daylight yet not a whole lot 
left to do either. So I know I need to get some more zip ties. We need to get the dirt around and it will not take me long to zip tie the rest of this. So I think at this point, because the chickens have not had water yet today, I think I'm gonna just let them out and then we'll, we'll just have to deal with them. They're gonna go back in and roost anyway here shortly. So we'll see how this is gonna work. I'm hoping that they see the wire I mean, they have really good eyesight, so they should see the, the mesh and be like, oh yeah, we can't go out there instead of just running into it. Well, here goes nothing. I, I think they see it. They know they can't. They know they can't go out any further. Right now, I think they just want water. So far, so good. They're gonna end up roosting here in about 20 minutes. That one just ran into it. I think it, I don't think it'll take them long to understand. There are a couple running into it, so hopefully they don't tear it. Finished product. I ended up finishing it kind of late last night. I shouldn't say late last night, but it was dark. It was probably five o'clock and it was dark by then. So it wouldn't have done any justice to try and film it. Anyhow, and it sounds like our solar unit is, the battery's dead. But anyway, this is what it looks like and turned out. So far, so good. The chickens were running into the side of the netting a little bit i think it won't take them long to get used to it and hopefully they stay in here so overall it's a pretty simple build pretty easy it's just like i said very tedious with all the zip tying you have to do to get all the mesh on but overall i think if this works it'll save a lot of headaches down the road so that's basically it. It is currently raining out here, so I'm not gonna stay out here too long. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.